<coughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back to our tafsir class. We are doing the kitab known as Al Jami' Ali Ahkam al Quran of Imam Al Qurtubi Rahimahullah and we are still doing the tafsir of Surah Al Inshiqaq and uh, in our previous class, we did a portion of the tafsir of ayah number 17, which is what we are currently on, and that is where we are continuing on from tonight as far uh, uh, as things go. So anyhow, let's begin. Bismillahi walhamdulillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. So we're starting here on page one, 169 of volume 22. He says, يقول ليس في يدي من ذلك الشيء كما أنه ليس في يد القابض على الماء شيء فإذا جلل الليل الجبال والأشجار والبحار والأرض فاجتمعت له فقد وسقها والوسق ضمك الشيء بعضه إلى بعض تقول وسقته أسقه وسقا أوكي okay. Okay, so anyway, we were still dealing well, uh, yeah, well, uh, with uh, that's the ayah that we're dealing with over here, as you can see. Yes, well, so we were dealing still with the word waskun and everything, and then the poem over here, malam tasikhu ana milu. So he says, laysa fi yadi min meaning you the word, uh. Wasak tasik yeah it means I have nothing of that in my hand like how it is said for fi yadi al qabid al ma and the person who grabs water he has nothing you know you can grab a, a a stick you have it you grab a a gun you have it you know you you grab hold of it but if you grab water it slips through your fingers I mean you can even grab sand but it will slide through your fingers but you can still grab it but water it's like if it's not laying in the palm of your hand. You can't hold on to the water. So anyway, he's using showing how the vastness of the word wasak. So he says, فَإِذَا جَلَّلَ اللَّيْلُ الْجِبَالَ وَالْأَشْجَارَ وَالْبِحَارَ وَالْأَرْضَ فَاجْتَمَعَتْ لَهُ فَقَدْ وَسَقْهَا So he says that when the night covers the mountains and the trees and the oceans and the land فَاجْتَمَعَتْ لَهُ And it encompasses all of this. فَقَدْ وَسَقْهَا Then it has covered it. So وَاللَّيْلِ وَمَا وَسَقْ In the night and what it covers. So he says, "Well, wasku dhammu ka shay baadahu ala baad, uh, baadahu ila baad." So he says, "Wask means, you know, dhammu ka shay." We to basically to when you wrap something uh, part onto each other. In other words, you like you would roll something up over itself. So he says, "Taqulu wasaktuhu asiquhu waska." Okay, that's just from a linguistic perspective. Wa minhu qiya qila li ta'am al kathir al mujtami' waskun, wa huwa sitoon al sa'an, wa ta'am al musaq, ay majmu', wa ibl al mustawsiqa, ay mujtami'a. Okay, so now he says, it is said in Arabic. He's now showing the vastness and the usage of the word waskun. So he says that when you have a lot of food, the which is combined, gathered together, then it is known as a wasq. A wasq is 60 sa'a. Now, this is the weights and measures that used to be used at the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So you had a sa'a, which according to the various madahib, there is difference of opinion, like what is a mood, what is a sa'a, what is a wasq, etc., etc. So there's a lot of, uh, I'm not use the term discrepancies, but they are, Fast differences of opinion because, for example, a mood is it 500 ml, 700 ml, a liter, 1.1 liter, 600 ml? You know, you've got different opinions like this because of the fact that there was a mood in Mecca and a mood in Medina and a mood in Sham and a mood here and there, and they didn't have. Uh, you know, specifically made, you're going to measure him out specifically, it's going to be 500 ml and not a drop more. Nobody did such things. It was, a mood was a standard bowel sort of thing. So, you know, like how today you've got a side plate, uh, I, to use it in our terminology today, you've got a side plate. But now, if you know anything about plates, then you know that you've got a side plate, and then you get a side plate. So you get a big side plate and a smaller side plate. But at the same time, both of them are referred to as being side plates. If you went into a shop and you asked for a side plate, the one can be 15 centimeters, and one can be 20 centimeters in diameter. Uh, or 25 centimeters even, uh, according to the various uh, 
makes as they make the uh, side blades different sizes but nonetheless we'll all say it is a side blade so likewise when it comes to the weights and measurements that a wasq and a saw etc so obviously when you differ on how much is a saw even if we all agree that a wasq is 60 saw then it will not come out of the same thing because we differ on how much is a saw in the first place so nonetheless he says that a wasq is 60 saw as far as weight is concerned and he says ta'amun musaq when you use the term a ta'amun musaq it means a, a lot of uh, you know like a, a lot of food gathered wa ibilun mustawsiqa meaning a, a a group of camels you know a uh, that's a whole lot that is gathered together qala rajiz inna lana qala'isan qala'is haqaiq mustawsiqat lam yajidna sa'iqa Okay, he says, وَقَالَ عِكْرِمَا وَمَا وَسَقْ أي وَمَا سَاقَ مِنْ شَيْءٍ إِلَى حَيْثُ يَأْوِي فَالْوَسْقُ بِمَعْنَى الطَّرْدِ وَمِنْهُ قِيلَ لِي طَرِيدَةِ مِنَ الْإِبْلِ وَالْغَنَمِ وَالْحُمُرِ وَسِيقَ قال الشاعر كما قاف آثار الوسيقة وسيقة قائفو Okay, so he says, Imam Ikrima said, وَمَا وَسَقْ meaning, وَمَا سَاقَ مِنْ شَيْءٍ إِلَى حَيْثُ يَأْوِي And that which, you know, Ya'wi means like the way a thing goes to rest, but yeah, it means like you know, it's taking it to the end. So he says, a camel or a sheep or a mule, donkey, etc., when it's like you know, it is the one which has run off, so to speak, it's referred to as a wasiqa. But anyway, the point is, wal qamari either okay, we okay, we're still dealing with wasak, we haven't come to tasak over here, but nonetheless. Uh, and what uh, when you say gather, when you say cover, it's synonyms at the end of the day, it boils down to whatever it contains. So he says, Wa'ani ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma wa ma wasaq ay wa ma janna wa satar. So Hazrat Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma, he said, Wasaq means janna, not janna that we know as in heaven as people who translate it. That is janna wa tatamar put on the end. This is janna. With no tamar bota, but janna, jinna, junna, all three words. The word janna, as we know it, heaven, and uh, all of it has a similarity in between all of them. And the same is the with the word janna over here. It means something to cover. Now janna, as in heaven, is called janna because it is shady and the shade covers you. And uh, junna is a shield, and it's called junna because the shield covers you, it shades you, it protects you from the attacks. And jinnah is madness. And it is madness because it covers your mind. So in all cases, the word jannah has got this meaning within it, ingrained within it, to cover. So satara means to cover as well, you know, your uh, aura, covering your aura. And uh, also from Adr Abdullah ibn Abbas, radiyallahu anhu, he said, wasaqa means the hamala like meaning to to carry and the night and what it carries but kulli shayin hamaltahu faqad wasaqtahu wal arabu taqulu la af'aluhu la af'aluhu ma wasaqat ma wasaqat ayni al ma'a so ay hamalathu so he says uh, everything which you carry then you have uh, made wasaq of it he says the arabs they say i will not do this ma wasaqat ayni al ma'a Meaning, as long as my eyes carry water. In other words, as long as I am able to see, I will not do such a thing. It's, uh, you know, it's a, I'll never do this until the pigs fly. Pigs are not going to fly, but you get the picture. So it's a statement made in, along those lines. But just showing that wasaq means to carry as well. فهي ناقة واسق ونوق وساق مثل نائم ونيام وصاحب وصحاب قال بشر بن أبي حا ابن أبي خا يتبوز بحازم ألظ بهن يحدون ألظ بهن يحدوهن حتى تبينت الحيال من الوساق. okay so anyway coming to the point of yeah he said that um Wasakati nakatu tasiku waska the wasakati nakatu meaning that the camel be ca uh, carried and covered itself up with the water in it. In other words, the camel filled itself up with water. You know, and you get the the camel survives on that water. And if you were to cut him open, you'd get that water as well. 
So a camel which is filled with water is referred to as a naqatun wasiqun. And nukun wisaqun is now obviously just the, the plural form. Uh, he says like naim uh, uh, and niyam. When nasun niyam and people are sleeping. Sahib uh, and sihab. So anyway, he's just using how singular plural uh, type uh, word then okay then we passed by the poem ومواسيق ايضا واوسقت البعير اي حملته حمله واوسقت النخله كثر حملها okay so he says the word مواسيق is similar and he said واوسقت البعير اوسق يوسق ايساق uh, same word we were doing حملته حمله i put the Burden on the animal. In other words, the, the package that's going to be carried, I placed it on the back of the camel. <coughs> okay, وَأَوْسَقَتِ nakhla, And when you use the word like this with regards to the date palms, the date palms were carrying, meaning the, the date palm has a great uh, yield this year, if you were to put it that way, the amount of dates that it will give off. وقال يمان والضحاك ومقاتل بن سليمان حمل من الظلمة قال مقاتل أو حمل من الكواكب القشيري ومعنا حمل الضم وجمع والليل يجلل بظلمته كل شيء فإذا جللها فقد وسقها ويكون هذا القسم قسما بجميع المخلوقات لاشتمال الليل عليها كقوله تعالى فلا أقسم بما تبصرون وما لا تبصرون Okay, so he says, Imam uh, uh, Yaman Bahak Muqatil bin Sulaiman, they, they said that Hamala min al-Zulma, what it carries of the darkness, and the night in what it carries of the darkness, or oh, what it carries of the stars. Uh, that's mentioned by Imam, uh, uh, oh no, that's my, my Imam Muqatil, Imam al Qushayri, he said, the meaning of Hamala uh, to carry means to, you know, like to gather and to cover. He says, the night, it its darkness covers everything. So when it covers it, then it has made wasaq of it. So he says that this oath that Allah is taking, walayli wa ma wasaq, Allah takes an oath by the night and what it covers. So he says it is Allah taking an oath by all of creation because uh, oh, creation on earth, obviously, not in the heavens. But nonetheless, so an oath by all of creation because of the fact that night covers the whole uh, creation. So anywhere you are uh, on earth, you are affected by uh, day and night, and thus everything that night touches is included in that uh, oath. He says, it's similar to the ayah wherein Allah says, فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِمَا تُبُصِرُ I take an oath by what you see, وَمَا لَا تُبُصِرُ And I take an oath by what you don't see as well. So in other words, what you see is part, what you don't see is also part. So Allah covers both parts, meaning Allah takes an oath by literally everything. وَقَالَ ابْنُ جُبَيْرُ وَمَا وَسَقَ أَيْ وَمَا عُمِلَ فِيهِ يَعْنِ التَّهَجُّدَ وَالْإِسْتِغْفَارَ بِالْأَسْحَارِ قال شاعر ويوما ترانا صالحين وتارة تقوم بنا كالواسق المتلبب. So again, okay, he says Imam Ibn Jubair, he said that وما وسق means what the, Allah takes an oath by the night and what is done within it, meaning the tahajjud and uh, istighfar in the early hours of the morning and so on and so forth. And then he mentioned the uh, kalamili, kalwasiqi. Uh, He's just explaining it in that poem over there. قُلُوا تَعَالَى وَالْقَمَرِ إِذَا تَسَقْ And then the moon when it becomes full. إِذْ أَيْ تَمَّ وَاجْتَمَعَ وَاسْتَوَى قَلَ الْحَسَنْ إِتَّسَقَ أَيْ إِمْتَلَأَ وَاجْتَمَعَ ابن عباس استوى قتاد استدارة الفراء اتساقه امتلاؤه واستواؤه ليالي البدر وهو افتعال من الوسق الذي هو الجمع يقال وسقته فاتسق كما يقال وصلته فاتصل ويقال أمر, أم أمر فلان متسق أي مجتمع على الصلاح منتظم ويقال اتسق الشيء إذا تتابع okay. so, والقمر إذا اتسق and the moon becomes full and now uh, wasak tasak as you can tell it's the same uh, root letters over here so he explains that tamma wajtama'a wastawa that the moon when it becomes full when it gathers which is when the it get the you know you've got the different uh, phases of the moon so when it's 
gathered or you've got the waxing and the waning of the moon but when the whole moon is gathered meaning when it's full wastawa you know like uh, when it has been raised full bright so imam hassan he says ittasaqa meaning imtala'a wajtama'a you know it shines and it's full imam ibn abbas hadhar uh, abdullah ibn abbas radiyallahu anhu he said istawa you know when it uh, raises up Qatara uh, istadara, he says when it is istadara, da dara yaduru, meaning that when it is round, meaning when it is full. Imam al farra he said, ittisaquhu imtilauhu wastiwauhu imtalaa means the full over here. So imtilauhu wastiwauhu layali al badri. So he says, Imam al farra that ittisaq of the moon means when the moon is full and it is raised on the uh, layali al badr you know the white nights meaning the 13th 14th and 15th when the moon is at its brightest laylat al badr uh, laylat al badri refers to the bright uh, uh, moon at that point in time uh, okay so he, he just ifti'al uh, on the pattern of ifti'al okay you call wasaqtuhu fatasaqa okay that's all just the linguistics so we're going to skip all of that and then he last said ittasaqa shay'u idha tataba'a Ittasaqa means something when it uh, follows consecutively. So obviously, when you have one phase to the next phase to the next phase, meaning when it reaches the point of completion and becoming round and full. Okay. Um, let's see. We'll still do this stuff Syria for quite a few more days. Probably into February at the current rate before we'll end up finishing the tafsir of this surah. But let's see how far we go. لتركبنا طبقا عن طبق قرأ عمر وابن مسعود وابن عباس وأبو العالي ومسروق وأبو وائل ومجاهد والنخعي والشعبي وابن كثير وحمزة والكسائي لتركبنا بفتح الباء خطابا للنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم عليه وسلم أي لتركبن يا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم حالا بعد حال قاله ابن عباس رضي الله عنهما so, we read this letter Kabuna in the Qira of Imam Hafs Rahimullah, Imam Hafs and Asim. So he says, Adrat Umar, Hadrat Abdullah ibn Masood, Hadrat Abdullah ibn Abbas, Imam Abu Aliya, Imam Masruq, Imam Abu Wail, Imam Mujahid, Imam Nakhai, Imam Shabi, Imam Ibn Kathir, Imam Hamza, Imam Al Kisai. In the Qira that they were reading is letter Kabana. So with the Fatha on the bar, it is when you say letter Kabana. Uh, it means it is addressed to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa meaning that you, O Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you will, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, not exactly travel, but uh, you will experience uh, state after state. And you'll understand in the tafsir anyway. This is mentioned by Adr Abdullah ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhumah. الشعبي لتركبنا يا محمد سماء بعد سماء ودرجة بعد درجة ورتبة بعد رتبة. Uh, في, في من الله تعالى. So, if you look at the words of Imam Shabi, it uh, explains to you when you mean state after state. So, he says that you, O Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you will experience or travel sky after sky, I meaning you'll go higher and higher. ودرجة, بعد درجة, and a, a, a degree after a degree. ورتبة بعد رتبة, and a Position after position. In other words, you on position one, you'll move to position two, and where one is the lowest and ten is the highest. For example, you'll keep on moving up like that. Uh, you'll keep on coming closer and closer. In what? Fil qurbati min Allah Taala. In coming closer and closer to Allah Taala. Ibn Mas'ud la tarkabanna al-samaa halan بعد halin يعني حالة حالة التي وصفها الله تعالى بها من الانشقاق والطي وكونها مرة كالمهل ومرة كالدهان وعن ابن إبراهيم عن عبد الله طبقا عن طبق قال السماء تقلب حالا بعد حال قال تكون وردة كالدهان وتكون كالمهل Okay Okay, so anyway, he says that Hadra Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhuma, he said that لَتَرْكَبَنَّ السَّمَاءُ that, that the sky لَتَرْكَبَنَّ السَّمَاءُ not Sama'a, if it's Sama'a, then the act is being done on it. So لَتَرْكَبَنَّ السَّمَاءُ that the sky will experience state after state, meaning the states that Allah has mentioned with regards to it. مِنَ الْإِنْشِقَاقِ of splitting وَالطَّيِّ and being spread out وَكَوْنِهَا مَرَّةً كَالْمُهُلْ وَمَرَّةً كَالْدِّهَانِ 
yeah in uh, uh, surah ar-rahman allah makes mention of uh, the you know the sky becoming wardatan kadihan and you know wa takun al-jibal kal-'ayhin you know you know samauka al-muhl wa takun al-jibal kal-'ayhin wa la yas'alu hamimun hamima all of that so he says that the sky has different states that it will be in when the sky will split when the sky is red when the sky is etc etc so he says that is a tabaqan an tabaq from uh, state to state there'll be different states uh, to the sky anyway so imam ibrahim imam ibrahim uh, mentioned from um, uh, an abdullah that tabaqan an tabaq meaning the sky changes state after state so تكون وردة كالدهان وتكون كالمهل. so sometimes it is like uh, you know like وردة كالدهان and sometimes it's like uh, مهل. Okay, anyway, nonetheless, the point being, where were we now? Okay. وقيل أي لتركبن أيها الإنسان حالا بعد حال من كونك نطفة ثم علقة ثم مضغة ثم حيا وميتا وغنيا وفقيرا فالخطاب للإنسان المذكور في قوله يا أيها الإنسان إنك كادح هو هو اسم للجنس ومعناه الناس. Okay, so he says that... Uh, Another opinion is Latarkabanna, all in the Latarkabanna, the other Fira'a, that, oh, you mankind, you will experience state after state, meaning from this point that you were a nutfa, you know, it were, you were like a, a drop of sperm, then you were a clot of blood, then you were a lump of flesh, then you were a loving being, then you were a person that has died, you are a person who's rich, you are a person who's poor, you go to different state, stages and statuses and uh, things in life. So the address is to mankind, who is mentioned in the ayah, Ya ayyuhal insanu inna kakadihun. From that ayah over there, he says the address is towards all of mankind. Thus, this ayah here is also addressing all of mankind. So, Ya ayyuhal insan, it is a ism lil jins, you know, it is a a, a, a noun used for the species, but the meaning is for all of mankind. Okay, I think we'll stop on this point here before uh, we run out of time with load shedding. So we'll stop on this point here for tonight, inshallah ta'ala. Until next time, we end and we say, wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad, subhanallahi wa bihamdihi, subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik, ashadu wa la ilaha illa anta, nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk, wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.